Hey guys, today I'm gonna be responding slash rating your favorite horses. So recently on my channel, I asked you guys to vote for what you wanted for the next train with me video, and this is what you guys wanted. I know there are a few people who have done this video before, so this isn't like an original idea or anything, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So I'm riding Georgie and Georgie is almost maxed, like only two more levels. And we're gonna be doing the new Vildo Lake race, which is so exciting. I mean, at the time I'm filming this, which is the week that the Vildo race came out, it's new, but probably when this video comes out, it won't be new anymore. It's all good, it's fine. I had you guys submit pictures of your favorite horse on my Instagram, so we'll be going through those first. And then I also asked this question on Reddit, and so I'll be reading people's responses. first response is from Maddie and they said this is one of my favorite horses because it looks good with every outfit and I love the gates and it looks like it's a Paso Fino. Okay I really like this Paso Fino and the other day I saw like a club or something wearing an outfit with this Pasofino, this particular one. Oh my gosh, did someone just <laughs> did someone just push me off the bridge right now? Okay, can we roll back the tape and see someone push me off that bridge? No, this particular one. Okay, anyways, um, I saw someone wearing like the outfit from Midsummer, the one with like the blue and the tan, and it looks really good on that Pasofino. I'm gonna use like a one to ten rating system, and I'm gonna give it. Let's just say ten is superior otherworldly amazing horse. One is Jorvik Frisian and five is just good horse, not that special. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nine. We're starting off high. I really love the Pasofinos. They're really new and that particular coat color just really does it for me. Comment down below what the coat color is called because I definitely don't know. I actually kind of like this new race. There's that part where you jump off the cliff, like you jump over this waterfall thing that I think is really cool. Oh my gosh, no, you're kidding. I was about to finish. I can't with this right now. Seriously, I'm so upset. I will come back when I finish this race. Okay. I think I just ran into that bubble with you. They don't give you very much time between the flags. <gasps> You're kidding. Okay, anyways, moving on. Starshine, let's do some animals, which is that a good idea while I'm reading stuff? No, I need a break from racing because that first race was kind of hard. <laughs> the next person is Lynn. Lynn says, hello, Rose, hi. This is my favorite horse because the coating gates are just so gorgeous. I think they did a really good job with the new Shires. He just really gives off a gentle giant kind of vibe. Okay, I have to agree with you. Obviously, this person is riding the gray Shire that I'm writing right now in this video. And since Georgie's here, I'm gonna just have to say that this is a 10. <laughs> yeah, I love the new Shires and I think that they definitely, you nailed it. They are a gentle giant vibe. Wow, I'm not having any luck finding animals. It's fine, we'll talk about the Shires. I like that the mains are probably one of the best mains they've had in the game so far. I'm trying to give my fox some chicken feed, it's fine. They look way more natural than previous model horse of horses, if that makes sense. I just really like the mains. I thought I would try to like give you guys a satisfying ending to this video and actually max a horse while we train. So we'll see what happens. All right, this next submission is from Reese. And Reese said, this is Ocean, my Gotland pony. I love him so much and he is so cute. It's basically the black and white Gotland pony and its name is Tuxedo Time, AKA Ocean. I'd love to know how you got the name Ocean from Tuxedo Time. Oh, look, a chicken. You guys are really going safe here. I thought I was gonna get some more controversial horses um, yeah, I love the Gotland Pony, specifically love the black and white Gotland Pony, and I don't know if you guys are just like my jam, if we all agree, or if you guys are just sending me things you know I like, but we're on a good roll here. Okay, for the Gotland Pony, I'm gonna say good horse, not my favorite horse, but good horse. If you had asked me like three years ago, I would have been like 10, but today, you know, it's a little older. I'm gonna give it a six. Great horse, love it. Um, not as good as the newer model horses, but still a cute horse. Okay, I need to buy some more organic chicken feed. Why does the chicken feed have to be organic. Why can't I just buy the less expensive regular chicken feed? Because it's star stable. Okay, that's why. Um, next person who left a submission was Isab Isabdel. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be Isabel. This person said, this is my favorite horse because it took forever to save up for and I only have like four horses. 
is. Kind of wish I bought the Arabian though. Okay, I love how this person's like, this is my favorite horse, but also I regret buying it and wish I bought an Arabian instead. And don't we all? Don't we all wish we bought the Arabian instead? Um, the Yorvik Wild is a good horse. Wouldn't have picked this color, to be honest. Um, I really only like a few of the colors of the Yorvik Wilds and also really usually like Palominos, but I'm gonna be honest, this one's just not it for me. So if five is just like, okay, I'm gonna have to give this horse a four. I don't really like this horse. I have like the brown and white Yorvik Wild and obviously the birthday horse, but I think I have one more, but I just can't think of what that one is right now. <laughs> Yeah, the Palomino one is just a little, it's a little funky monkey. You know what I mean? It's just not. Like I have this conspiracy theory, okay? I have a conspiracy theory that there are not always four animals and that SSO is messing with our minds and sometimes there's only two. Gary, thank you for watching. This is my channel. Okay, Nova Desert Bird is the next person he submitted. So they said, hey Rose, I saw your story and wanted to send in my favorite horse. Good. That's exactly what you were supposed to do, Nova. Thank you. My favorite horse is the Gen 3 Halflinger. They are a well-made horse breed, tiny but mighty. The different coat variations are just gorgeous. Don't even get me started on that mane. Its textures are just chef's kiss. The animations are so realistic and just very alike to the breed. They are just a wonderful horse breed in general, and I'm so happy that SSO added an updated version of them to the game. Love your videos, XOXO. Thank you. So they picked the whole horse breed. I guess they couldn't just pick one coat color that they love or one particular horse, which is totally fair because I personally have a really hard time picking favorites of this horse. They're just so cute. I totally agree. I'm just like zooming in on them right now. And I love this picture that they sent me to represent these horses. Didn't I give the Shires a 10? I don't know if I give the Shires a 10. Are the Shires a 10? Actually, I'm going to give them a 10. I think I'm going to give them a 10. And the Shires, I'm going to move down from 10 to 9 because I like the Halflingers probably better than the Shires, even though the Shires are really cute. Like the Shires are my favorite of any of the draft horses. The Halflingers are like just so cute. Oh, okay. This person sent a video because it's the horse I make the most of my outfits with my gf on i don't know what gf means okay i'm gonna play the video okay so it is the black and white scotland pony nice okay i already rated the black and white scotland pony i think i did gave it like a six or something like that the next mission is from bethany lightning flower and they said double gray arabian she is an icon anyone that follows me would know that she is fabulous the best of the best this is cloudy the fabulous okay cloudy's a cute name for that arabian but i'm not gonna lie it's like not my favorite arabian coat um i'm gonna give this horse an eight because I really love the Arabians and even though this isn't my favorite coat color of the Arabians so I'll give it an eight and thank you for your submission. Okay next submission is from Amy Mumford. Amy said my favorite is the Irish Cobb. They're an old horse but love the coats especially this dappled gray. They are detailed and I love their trotting gait. I don't like the fact that they removed the cold tolerant feature because that was one of the main reasons I got this horse so I could do Dino Valley. Oh my gosh help. Overall it is a very good horse considering it is from an older generation. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even remember this actual coat color of the Irish Cobbs existing. I have the white one, basically, the dapple with the dapples. So this one is really cute, but it's, you know, it's, I'll give it a five. It's just okay. I mean, it's just kind of like a little frumpy looking. I still love my Irish Cobb, don't get me wrong, but there are so many better horses that I'm gonna give this horse a five. Next submission is from Abigail McCown. I don't know how to say her name. Hi, my favorite horse is the updated Shire especially the gray one with this main style. It makes the horse look like it has a baby face and it looks so cute. Okay, actually, it does look like it has a baby face. You're not wrong. Wow, this is the second person to submit the Gray Shire, which is really weird because I'm riding the Gray Shire. Okay, yeah, I already um, gave this horse a nine. So thanks for your submission. The next person is Mitchie Flowerwood. Mitchie, I don't really know how to say their name. And they said, my most favorite horse for the vid. Not sure why they're sneezing on their most favorite horse, but so it's the Dapple Bay. I don't know what you call it. Shire. Well, wow, lots of Shire guys. Okay, this coat color is really cute. I don't love it as much as the gray, so I'm going to give this horse an 8.5, but um, I've actually been thinking about buying this coat color of the Shire, and I recently bought star coins. I know it was double star coin weekend, and I was like, you never know when you're going to need some star coins, and so I bought star coins, okay? Maybe for like Christmas or something, I'm, I want to buy more Shires later. Okay, and I think that's all of the submissions I got on my Instagram, so I'm going to move on over to Reddit. So on Reddit, it. I just tell people to tell me your favorite horse. 
their name, breed, coat, color, and why. These ones don't have pictures, I'm sorry, but you know, I'll find a picture of these horses for you because, because I care. This person said the black blanket Appaloosa. Oh my gosh, ow. I think that's the coat color. I think so too. Named Clover, that's a cute name. Backstory is I let my boyfriend on my account. He bought me Stargoins and then bought me the horse I really wanted, that one, and he even trained it for me. I ride her all the time now. She's 100% my favorite horse. Wow, I, your boyfriend must really love you because that, um. That's a lot. I don't know, I think I'd almost be mad if someone trained my horses for me because like what else am I supposed to do? Like when am I ever gonna ride the horse? Okay, that black blanket Appaloosa is adorable. I love the Appaloosas, especially that color. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nine. I just love that black blanket Appaloosa. Okay, the next person said the flea bitten gray Lusitano. I love flea bitten gray horses and the Lusitano just looks so elegant and regal in general. Okay, this is an interesting pick. We all know how I feel about Lusitanos. If you don't, I'm not a huge fan, but if I was gonna get a Lusitano, it would be the one I have right now, which is like the liver chestnut, I think. I like the coat color, but you know, it's an older model horse. The coat color doesn't really stand up to current standards and I don't love Lusitanos. The neck is weird to me. I don't know. So I'm gonna give the horse a three. Okay, someone said Shires and Illusions and Lusitanos. Okay, um, you were supposed to commit and pick one, so I can't really rate that, can I? All right, someone said the App Icelandic horse. She's my baby. Her name is Scarlet and I feel super attached to her because I raised her on the app. <laughs> That's really funny. Like, I didn't really think about it as a bonding experience. I usually just raise my foals on the app in like, some sort of rage stress, like anger. And especially now that they added crops, I'm always like angrily swiping and like trying to plant things. So the app Icelandic horse is the gray. is probably my favorite Icelandic. And I really loved the Icelandics when they came out. And I still love them. They hold up. They're like more of a horse that I ride during like the winter events, but I still love them. I'm gonna give that horse a seven. Okay, someone said Irish cob and Percheron. They're beautiful. I love big horses. Okay, I already rated an Irish cob, but Percheron, one, one, zero, zero, zero. I hate the Percherons. They're literally so ugly, and I don't even think I need to justify that. So, anyways, moving on. Okay, next person said, mine is a black Gen 3 Arabian named Witch King. He's the first horse I bought in game, and I use him in role plays all the time. Fave boy. Wow, okay, if that's your first horse that you bought in game, the Gen 3 Arabian, then you must be a latecomer <laughs> to the game which is totally fine welcome that's the only arabian i don't have and the reason i don't i don't really like to buy black horses with no markings i just don't know i like them if they have markings if they have white on them we all know i love black and white horses but the black arabian is just like to me a little dull so i'm actually gonna give that horse like a four i don't really love it the only arabian i don't have i have every other arabian next person said i love the sapphire blue roan Jorvik wild mine is called future heart because i love the way the colors blend together and i think blue Blue is a really pretty touch. I don't know if I love that horse very much. I'd probably give it like a three because it's blue. Like maybe if I looked at it again and like I'll put a picture on here, but no, I'm not looking at any picture at the moment. I'd probably give it a three. It's not my favorite. I mean, if we're going to compare it to like Appaloosas and Shires and all the other amazing horses we've been talking about, then yeah, three. Someone said, I love the peacock Appaloosa. Mine is called Anti Hero because they're super pretty and my Appaloosas in general are adorable. Okay, Anti Hero is kind of an interesting name. So they named their horse a villain. I love the Peacock Appaloosa. The Peacock Appaloosa, I'm gonna give an eight. I like the black and white one better, but the Peacock is really, really, really pretty. The App American Paint Horse. I loved all the paint horses, but he's just so pretty and can wear almost any outfit I throw at him. Second is the Doppel Gray Andy. He was my first bot horse and completed 95% of the storyline quests. Okay, that was a lot of information. Let's dig through that. So the App American Paint Horse is the lighter paint color with like the blonde mane, basically. <laughs> I've never heard someone refer to their horse tack is an outfit before, but I love it. Okay, that's funny because I actually have a really hard time finding things that match that horse. So I'm glad that you are feeling successful. Um, I also really like the horse. I'm going to give it a seven. The Doppel Gray and Illusion. Um, I'll give that one a five. It's a good horse. And would I like go buy it right now and feel like sad if I didn't have it? No. Wow. Okay. Um, Georgie is almost to level 14, which is incredible. Okay. The next person said, I used to hate horses with braided or barely visible mane, but somehow I fell in love with the Alcaltex. Also, I'm not sure what the code is called, but Faramore's color is
is just the best. And at first, that person's comment, I thought they said I used to hate horses. <laughs> I was like, okay. The Aquatex look like aliens in a sort of positive way, but with all the other horses we've raided today, those are gonna have to have a two. I'm gonna have to give them a two. I would never pick that as my favorite horse, <laughs> which makes me sad, but probably makes them more sad. I mean, they were cool when they came out and I got them because it's like a collector sort of thing. They're kind of ugly and I think they're the Frisian horse model, right? I'm gonna give them a two because it's like they're a special horse, but they're not as like bad as the regular Frisians, I guess. This next person said I have three. Ooh, okay. The first is the darkest new halflinger. Okay, so I'm guessing they mean the one I'm putting on the screen, the darkest one with no dapples. They said because it looks just like my childhood pony. He wasn't a halflinger though, just a really dark flax and chestnut. No idea what his breed was. His name was Rowdy. I couldn't name my in-game horse Rowdy, so I named it after his favorite thing, Clover. Sweet boy is long gone now, but riding his twin in the game is really nice. Oh, that's one thing about SSO is you can like find a horse that looks like the horse you ride in real life and just like you can always have your horse you can ride in game and remember that horse. That's kind of nice. And Rowdy is a kind of a cute name. I think I already gave Halflingers a 10. So the second one is the Flax and Chestnut Gotlin Pony, who I named Dash after my old pony named Dash. Different breed again, but similar in looks. Dash and I learned so much together and I intended to keep him forever, but he slipped out of my hands and I miss him so much. It's nice to at least have him in my game. Okay, this is actually really sad, but when they said he slipped out of my hands, I was just like, <laughs> I'm a little confused about what that means. Like he escapes, like you dropped him. I'm... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that you have like a, an emotional attachment to that horse because it's personal to you, but I actually really don't like the Flax and Chestnut Gotlin Pony. It's the only Gotlin Pony I never bought. I wouldn't have bought the Palomino except I bought it for a club and I regret that too. So I'm going to give that horse a three. The third is the Dark Beige Gen 3 Thoroughbred who I named Angel. She's modeled after my girl Charlotte who passed in a barn fire about two years ago. Looks almost exactly like her. She was my heart horse. It's really nice to have her live on in my game. That's really sweet. Also, what's happening to all your horses? I'm like concerned. It sounds like you go through a lot of horses. I'm glad someone brought up the thoroughbreds. I really like those. I'm gonna give them a six because they're better than good, but compared to some of the other horses, I think that's fair, but I ride my ETBs a lot in game still. This next person said, mine is a black Yorvik Frisian. One, sorry, I'm not gonna read the rest. One for the Yorvik Frisian. What if the Saddle Club were Yorvik Frisians? I don't think anyone would have watched that show. Okay, someone said curly horses are just so adorable and no explanation needed. I I agree. I love the curly horses. I love them more than just like a five. I'm gonna give them a six. I will stand up for curly horses for the rest of my life. I don't know. There's just something about them that makes me feel like my grandma made me an apple pie. They make me feel warm and fuzzy. Okay. Even when it's old, outdated, and has broken animations, I still love the Gen 1 Fjord. To me, it looks so much better than the Gen 3 version and captures the art style that I preferred back in the day. Plus nostalgia. It was the first horse I was super excited about on release. I think runner-ups would be the Gen 3, nor Swedish and Pasofino. I will agree with you, the Gen 1 Fjords were one of the better looking horses of the Gen 1 horses. <laughs> they were really cute at the time, but I would not pick Gen 1 Fjord as my favorite horse because the Gen 2 and Gen 3 ones are so much cuter, but I feel where you're coming from. You're coming from nostalgia, been there, but I'm going to give your horse a four, okay? Four because they had potential and they became what they are today, which is really cute, but they're just not, they weren't good yet, you know what I mean? And then you said, Runner-ups would be Gen 3 North Swedish and Pasofino. I actually really don't like the North Swedish horses very much. I have one, but I stopped liking them at some point. And the Pasofinos, I named them after Star Wars characters. So obviously I have a strong positive feeling about them. Okay, someone said my Umbra Dragonfire. And it had been my dream horse for a long time, but I didn't have my own money during the first two releases. When I finally got them, I felt so accomplished. Okay, I really do like Ayla and Umbra. Um, I actually just bought Umbra when I was with Cece on an impulse on my alt account because I have Ayla on my main and so I purchased like 100 star coins because I was 100 star coin short. I'm gonna give that horse five. It's a little bit of an older model horse but since it's magic it always stands. Close second is my gen 1 Yorvik pony. It's the one that I use as a prop in the barn at Golden Leaf Stables. His name is Obsidian Snow and I just think he's the most adorable derpy little thing. Why are people saying derpy? Like I've never heard people say derpy until right now. Um, I just bought a Yorvik pony gen 1. If you haven't seen that video go check it out. I bought a bunch of old model horses but I mean it is what it 
is i'm gonna give the horse like a four because it's old <laughs> and it's not my favorite horse anymore but i still have it for the memes okay someone said the black slash dark brown yorvik wild horse i just have such a bond with that horse okay i have a little story time about that horse so when they were releasing the yorvik wild horse for the first time i remember they released a picture like a spoiler picture this was before they actually did more spoilers for new horses this was at the beginning of new horses so they posted the spoiler and it was just so different looking than any of the other horses in the nessus at the time i just remember it was like just so much more magical looking and that's also the time when they changed magic horses and wild horses and they like said wild horses now are these horses and all the other horses are called magic horses i remember seeing that picture an sso of that black and brown one and i was like i must have it then i went to buy it in game and it has red eyes and i couldn't do it anymore and i wish if it had any color eyes besides red i would have bought it um so i'm gonna give that horse a five it's a good horse but i couldn't buy it okay someone's a doppel gray yorvik wild horse is my current favorite love the animations and blue highlights and the ears are just tart i'll probably give the horse like a four this person said the shingo teak pony first horse i bought and not a single regret oh i really love the shingo teak ponies i just bought one and they're like an older model horse but they still have a place in my heart so i'm gonna give them a five they're good horses someone said i like the arabians but missed out on the black rabicano so i've yet to buy one really looking forward to a morgan or mustang update have a feeling both will be at the top of my list Ooh, yeah a morgan or a mustang update would be really really cool those are actually the two horses i would like to see updated next but yeah the arabicano arabian i'm gonna give a nine it's honestly my favorite arabian i'm obsessed with it its coat looks like literally like baby fuzz and velvety it's just so well done looks like people are doing a roll right now and someone's telling them what to do someone said can we jump it's like girl you can do whatever you want all right this person said the morgans for some reason i just absolutely adore them specifically the chestnut one from the app yeah the morgans there was a time where they were my favorite horses so i will give them a three this person said probably the etb specifically the white one but i also love the finn horse and pasofino okay i loved the finn horse when they came out and i still like them but right now i'd probably read the finn horse as like a four speaking of derby they kind of look a little derby-ish they don't look quite right to me anymore but they're still cute and have their place in sso and i'll still ride them but the white etb i'm gonna give nine i love the white etb especially because i'm here at the racetrack someone said unpopular but i love the ember main oh my gosh they love the ember main yikes i'm gonna give it a one sorry no i'll give it a two because because it's a magic horse and it's better than the Yorvik frisian and so i'll give it i'll give it a two okay guys that was me rating your favorite horses hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments if you didn't have a chance to submit then you can comment down below your favorite horse and we'll have a conversation in the comments thanks for all of you guys who submitted your favorite horse on my instagram if you haven't already go check out my instagram it's at coco rosewater thanks for watching bye Thank you.